Hi. Now, some of you have asked, why is it that I get distracted so easily? Today in this video, we are going to talk about why it is that you get distracted so easily and what it is you can do about that so that you have better focus, better concentration, and you can get more done. So in part one, let's talk about why focus is so hard. If you feel like lately you've been having a really hard time focusing, I have some good and bad news for you. In fact, everyone is having more of a hard time focusing these days, and there's many reasons for it. The first is technology. Technology has changed more in the last seven years than in all of the history of the earth. Now, your brain is theoretically much, much older than that. And so what brains are having a really hard time doing is actually catching up with technology. What it means is that as our brains get inundated with millions of marketing messages and all kinds of, you know yourself, your phone goes off, your computer's dinging, everything's ringing, there's all kinds of technology around you all the time, it becomes increasingly hard to focus with technology. There's another reason that it is hard to focus. As our urban environments have become intensified and what you notice is there's more and more people around you. We went from four billion people on the earth to eight billion people on this earth and we're almost at nine billion people. What we start to see is that that is in fact a huge distraction for people. Even just the idea of multiple people around you increases your distraction, or said differently, your inability to focus. And so what we see is technology, urbanization, and intensification all increase how likely it is that you will be distracted. There's another factor. Especially if you work in a work environment where you're in a cubicle or where you hotel, what we're starting to see is that organizations are moving from office-based workstations to cubicle or open hoteling-based workstations. That is really good when it comes to sociability, innovation, people interacting, but hoteling or open concept work environments are really hard to focus in. And so what we see is a lot of our workstations, a lot of the normative ways we work today are actually starting to decrease our ability to focus. Now, that is why we are having a hard time focusing in general. What can we do about that? I have got some good news. From a brain-based perspective, some of the tricks, tips, tools you can use to get into focus are the following. The first is one of my favorite, and that's I tell people, sequester yourself. And I mean that both physically and figuratively. Physically, what I mean is that if you want to get more work done, you are probably going to have to find a place where you can focus, somewhere where you're alone or you feel comfortable actually getting work done where people can't distract you. Now, that's setting physical boundaries. Sometimes that might be a library or a meeting room or a cubby or a nook, somewhere that you can go that allows you to just focus for a little while without distractions. But when I say setting boundaries figuratively, what I mean is it's also important to make sure that you're not just letting other people come and distract you willy-nilly, that they aren't just coming in and asking questions when they feel like it. This is really about setting boundaries. And so part of being able to focus is around setting boundaries with the people you work with so that they know there are times in your day or if you're in a specific location or if the door is closed, they know that that is your time to focus so that you can be on your own and not have other people distract you because we know that other people are a number one distractor. The next thing you can do in order to try to get into focus is to do what I call tuning out the noise. If what you can do is tune out the noise, and by that I mean making sure that you are on your own and that you're not necessarily distracted by all the actual noises around you, things like the dog barking next door or the ambulance outside. If what you can do is tune out noise, you're that much more likely to be able to focus and be productive. Now, one of the things that research has shown is that headphones and listening to repetitive music without lyrics 
is in fact quite helpful for getting yourself into the zone and being able to actually focus and concentrate. And so my tip number two is not just to set boundaries physically and, fi and figuratively, but is to tune out the noise with headphones that aren't just noise canceling, but that don't have lyrics and are fairly repetitive so that you can get in the zone and actually focus for a little while. Next, my next tip for you in terms of getting into focus is to set a time limit. I know that sounds sort of simple, but the idea is, is that if you tell yourself before you get into the zone, before you're trying to get something done, if you tell yourself that you will only do this for a couple of minutes or that you will have a, a length of time that you're going to focus, it actually allows you to get into focus a lot easier. And the reason for that is because you are then not overwhelmed with this notion that this could be an eight hour project or could take you for the rest of the day. If in fact what you do is you set a time limit on how long you're going to work on something, research has shown that it's easier to both get down to work and to get into a state of concentration and focus. So we've talked about why it is so hard to focus as well as how you can maybe get into focus, but I also want to talk a little bit about how to stay focused. One of my favorite ways to help you stay focused is this. I want you to stop trying to multitask. Multitasking, as it turns out, does not exist. From a brain-based perspective, multitasking is actually something we call code switching because your brain can only do one thing at a time. Your brain is what we call a serial processor. In other words, it does one thing in order. It is not a simultaneous processor. And so, despite how it might feel, in fact, when you are multitasking, you are code switching between tasks. There's a problem with that. Code switching actually creates a refractory period wherein not only does nothing get done, but your anxiety increases, stress increases, cortisol, the stress hormone goes up, and people get that much more anxious about what they have to get done. So my number one tip for staying focused is to quit multitasking as in fact is to single task. Choose one thing you're going to work on for a little while, and allow yourself to be alone to do it, and you will be a much more productive person, much more able to get into a focused state. My final piece of advice for how it is that you can stay focused is this. Turn off your mobile phone and put it in another room. I know that seems crazy. What if it's off? Does it matter that it's still around? The answer from a brain-based perspective is yes. There is great research that shows that if your mobile phone is even in the same room as you are, even if it's off, it's not transmitting or receiving, it is in fact a distraction for you. It's almost like new moms talk about the fact that they're constantly listening for their baby to cry, as an example. It's like your mobile device is a infant that never grows up. Your brain, your subconscious brain, is constantly monitoring for it to go off because you know that at some point you're going to have to pay attention to it. And so if you wanna stay focused on top of not multitasking, but single tasking, I want you to do this for a little while, take your phone, turn it off so you don't hear it ring and put it in another room. So tell us how that worked. How did it work to enter into a state of flow and stay focused when you put your mobile device in another room? We have episodes coming out every day, so please do join us, subscribe, comment below. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.